All right, well, <clears throat> I guess it's time to go back to Dripfall and defeat the master and get through halfway of the game. Let's do this. All right, I've got myself this Temple Explorer I gotta keep alive, so you're going to the south. And I've got a whole lot of crap to defeat, but it's fine. Let's uh, grab this person. We're gonna smack him around a little bit. Apparently I got a Dreadmaster around. That's fun. Alright, there we go. Dreadmaster killed. Always fun. Excellent. Her pearl's right here. All right, blah, blah, thank you, blank you, and all that that pops up. Let's see here. Um, gain 9 defense and 2% chance to shrug off critical hits. If precautions or C, the Fred's act to dispose will be at those effects. I get pre recognition I want. Appearing to the future, blah, blah. Um, I think we're going to get foresight here because, uh, well, why not? A little bit of extra defense and critical strike is always nice. Hey, look at that. There's a uh, Borfast. Borfast, the, the dwarf of school. And he leaped on me. He's actually putting up a bit of a fight, which is kind of odd, but not really. There's a bit about uh, Larger Borfast. Now I want to note by the way that these guys are actually a little bit weaker because I came back here after leveling up a little bit, so... Defeating a Master should be a very easy prospect to do. Now I've seen the the uh, the dwarf and the halfling at this point. I wonder if we're gonna find the um, the banshee. There's also a banshee radar will pop up sometimes in this dungeon. Excellent! I've already beaten this level. No vault. Most unfortunate, no vault to get experience and items and stuff. But oh well. There's heal healing fusion of the Titan. I might keep that just for possible use later. I don't care about any of those items. Hey, in our Temple Explorer, why not? We'll help keep her alive, I guess. All right, where are you gonna go? It's close to the west. Apparently going uh, this way first. All right. Um, I get the feeling that we're fighting against uh, a certain banshee. And there she is. There's uh, Aletta. We're just gonna pull her up to me and I'll start, you know, making her pay. Uh, we'll rush you. And that's it for the Banshee. So that was the third rare that'll pop up sometimes. Oh, she got hit. 
And there's, you know, the Vibelletta. Oops, I apparently didn't do anything. Uh, let's just rush this guy. Rush this guy. You know, I love how it says close to the west and I have to walk all around like this. And there we go, she made it. Now if I want to, I could learn Precognition. This will let me uh, peer into the future since increases in traps and raves of 10 for one turn. If you know Foresight, you'll get additional defense and chance to struggle off critical hits. You know, I never actually used Foresight and Precognition, but maybe I'll pick this up and we'll see if this is, you know, possibly worth using. There's the space-time tuning because now I have Paradox abilities on my, uh, you know, lovely thing here. Let's actually go in here. I'm just going to go look around, see what I've got. This gives blast immunity, which is actually not that bad, so I'm going to keep it around for that. I don't really need to get myself a better armor at this point. This, this is actually really nice armor for a while. You know what? Let's actually activate this and see what it does. So. You peer into the future. Alright, so interesting. So I know there's stuff around me up there. See, so yeah, that's what I guess progression is good for. You can look around for stuff. Want to find out where stuff is? Poof. There's some guys over there. Apparently it's just a single room. Actually, that's kind of useful because you can use it to see what's inside, uh, you know, our sides of doors and stuff. Poof. And there's a scary guy right there to fight. Uh, lock you down. <clears throat> Go boom. Boom. That's all done. Poem written in elegant gothic script. No staff will save thee against the blindness of pride. Death will catch thee up. And no friend of master. Perhaps you're admired dense of foulness because you have nothing to aspire to. Perhaps you could be great if you have worse examples for you. Consider me. I began my long on life as a foolish pipsqueak such as yourself. Why, there was a time before I conquered even a pit, let alone a level or a dungeon. Now behold, all that is mine. You must have aspirations. I am not content with just the rule dreadful. No, soon I shall be much more. My boots shall tread the surface of the earth. I shall explore and destroy the most beautiful mountains. And all shall be mine once I can walk into some once more. Where will you be? Do you wish to be more than white? I stepped on yesterday. I shall need great leaders to guide my armies across the land. Yes, fierce aspirations the undead have. Get over here. Alright, well, there's another level cleared. Nothing really to say about it. We're done. There's a vampire lord to greet me. Or not a vampire lord, but rather just something, you know, dangerous. Kill you. Hello. What's this, by the way? This is Perfect Strike? Alright, that's Perfect Strike. Oh, I, I got pinned again. And I, of course, missed. Uh, let's get rid of this. There we go. Master Kekshim, finally. <laughs> Yep, we got ourselves a Dreadmaster. 
Oh, there you are. These guys are so annoying. And they hurt too. Now, is this a confusion ability or something? It's mental, so... I can get rid of that. There we go. So that was fun. No for the master. Perhaps you feel your uh, master has been lax or absent. Well, I shall mend that. I've been studying an object creating pack, blah, blah, blah. Talking about the staff. I actually want to come down in this direction because I'm wondering if this is uh, a vault or... Okay, so there's like an area, you know, um, type of like a uh, monster party type of thing. Alright, that's all cleared. I feel like doing it right away, so let's just do it. Boom! Activate the straw form, activate this. And we're just going to rush into this guy and go pop. Boom! That's what death should look like, right? There's everything dying in one foul swoop like that. There's the blood letter. Or we'll find any worms. It's simply that frost worm. Well, that's lucky. Found worm that walks there, but uh, he was so weak that he couldn't hurt me. Hey, a vault! What's in this vault? Yes! I'm gonna find myself a nice worm! Gonna be able to get my potions done. Ow. Ow. Just pummeling these guys quickly enough. The rest of those guys. Alright, there we go. Now it's just the little hatchlings I get to kill now. A little, little hatchlings and you'd all die. There we go. That's what I want to see, everything dying. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna basically invest in. I guess we're gonna keep going after blind speed for now. Keep boosting this up. This up. We're actually gonna just boost our way out of here for now. And I will go and uh, get my potions from Unfollow or whatever the guy's name is in Last Hope. I forget his name. Let's see here. Is any of this going to be worth keeping, I wonder? 
Probably not. Subtle. As you enter the familiar fortress, you notice small orange cat has followed you somehow. It looks like the kitty you fed earlier. Hi, kitty I fed earlier. Pumpkin, the little kitty. Alright, let's go over to uh, Last Hope. So at this point, I can probably get all my potions because uh, I really need to get got the ones I already got. So, boom. Uh, blah, blah. A grimace apparently to manage to create a delicious serum patty. Don't let him finish before me. Alright. There's the elixir foundations. So that boosts my uh, fixing up to 5-5. Five, five. I'll start focusing on this stuff next, the ogre stuff. What's up with you, by the way? Anything here worth? Probably not. I should probably sell my gems, by the way. Get all, rid of all this crap they don't really need to worry about. Don't need that. By the way, if you just click and press enter twice, it quickly gets rid of stuff. And save you t some time. Alright, let's see here. Where do I want to go for my potions then? So, a Grimley's got two of his potions. Um, Maris has one. The guy in uh, Durf has none. I don't really care about, you know... The other potion it really could get me, so let's see what this guy has for me. Confirm. Hey, so I get brawn here for more strength and constitution. That's good. Or stone skin, which should give me more armor. I think we'll get for brawn. And great work, blah blah. The guy in Durf apparently made the elixir uh, fox. So now he's got two of his things done. Okay, if I want to, I can do that. I think I might just uh, help this guy out and finish it off, but... Eh, well, maybe I'll go see what the guy in Durf has, you know, got. I would like to help Maris, because uh, the Potion of Invisibility is really nice to get, but... I don't feel like being bothered to go try and find Rick Stinger if I haven't found one already, so... We'll go in here, I'll have a look around. Return to uh, position. And pot, you're too late. Grimly, your hermit's already finished, but suppose it doesn't do any harm to take these and give you an undeserved reward. Wait here, I'll put my art, having an hour. Enjoy your reward. Thanks, I'll be off. So, that's too bad I didn't get, you know, it completed, but it's fine. Granite brawn here. And we get precision for more physical crit chance. So here's my potions out of the way. The Island of Dread. Let's go finish our way up to the Master Den, I guess. Of course, if I find a couple more vaults on the way up to the Master, I might just say... Well, I suppose this is the level that's going to be on, so... If I find a master, he's dead. If not, oh well. Oh, we got ourselves a dreaming horror of some sort. There's a Nalorin thing right there. That's a lot of stuff in here, and hey, look at that! There's the master. Hi, master. This is not a good time to be confused. Boink. Uh, Rickus Morris and all this crap. 
Yeah, this is a bad time to confuse. Let's just get out of here. I was blind, apparently. Well, what a room to pop into. Let's uh, bring you over here. Ow. Blank. Or you can rush. Uh, you can't do it from close. Right, right. It would be nice if you could rush, you know, with that ability. And the master hit me with a damn blindness thing again. This is going to get annoying. Alright. Let's uh, try and take this guy out. Of course, why not? More status effects. Oh, there's the master. Alright, let's um, start injuring him up a little bit. Lock you down. Boink, boink, boink. Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Just probably put him blank speed for more damage. Boom. Boom. He's actually trying to run away a little bit. And of course, he's got the ability to make whiffs because you know, you have to make your whiffs. Oh, hello. Blah, blah, he crumbles once. And there we go, Vampire Crusher. That was easy enough to do. There's the staff. Apparently I found something called Mercy. That's a dagger, I think. Yep, a nice little dagger. Tier 4. Alright, well, let's just try and uh, make my way through the rest of this dungeon. And we got a vault too. It's orcs! Orcs are fun! Let's bring you over and kill you. Uh, I could recklessly run in there, but I think that'd be stupid, so... Let's let them all bunch up a little bit like this. Go boink, boink, and boink. There we go, everything's dead. These guys pop out. We'll just kill these guys right quick. And there we go, all these orcs are dead, which means now it's time to uh, vacate and fight off the orcish ambush. Ah, found an Australian tiger right there. Very nice. Let's put in the eye of the forest so I don't have to worry about blindness anymore. This thing serves its purpose enough. And I didn't actually have this on, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. I guess I didn't really need it. I strung up without it. All right. As you come out of Dripfall, you counter a band of orcs. Blah, blah. And I'm going to end the episode right here. So, this is now the start of the second part of, uh, you know, the campaign. 
I fear we've gone through enough for this episode, though. I'll see you guys next time when I go after the Yorks. For now, take care.